washer distributor. Uh, I recommend not taking these off. Uh, they can get kind of lost to where they go unless you want to mark individually, you know, their own label. And then that way you can put them back, but they don't have to come off. I'm going to leave them on there. Uh, you have three eight millimeters. You can use a, a socket or a regular wrench. I just used a regular wrench. There's this one here, here, and then there's one hiding right here. And we've got these loose. They don't come out and this is as far as they come out. So we'll pop this off. And we'll look inside of the cap. Might be kind of hard, but you can see there's some crud on these fins here. And then here's the rotor. If I can get it to focus. Anyway, and uh, it's kind of rusty and got some junk on it. So this just pops off. You can stick a screwdriver in there or something. Or if you can grab this without breaking it. And this just slides off. But be careful not to lose the little. There's a little metal plate inside of it. If you pop that off and you're not paying attention, it can go down there and you lock it. Before you pop that rotor off, this thing just wiggles on there. It just presses on. This is the little metal pin that sits in here. Like that. And that's pretty much what pinches this rotor. I'll show you. There's this shaft right here that this uh, rotor rides on and this little. Okay, hit it with some sandpaper, hit it with a wire brush, and this thing looks not new, but way, way better. Now we still got to do the cap and uh, you ain't gonna worry about it in here. This doesn't really, it just spins. All right, so we're gonna clean this out and I'm gonna hit it with some uh, brake clean before we do anything. And I just lost my straw, so that's cool. All right, so we got these wire, wired up and sanded and they look much better. I just sprayed it out with some brake clean get all the junk out of there i gotta wipe it down and let it dry and then we'll go ahead and put this rotor off back on all right we can kind of see i can kind of get it to focus so you see that little flat spot on the rotor and there's this plate here this will go against the flat spot so we'll just put that back on it literally just pushes on i'm gonna wiggle it to make sure you got it lined up and then push and it's the round portion goes down and back and then we will tighten these back up. This little nipple here has a cover on it, so if that falls off, make sure it goes back on. Okay, so we got all that back together. Wires are still on. If you took them off, put those back on, and we'll go start. All right, so the car's in neutral. Turn the ignition on. 